Hello everyone, and I would like to welcome you to a time together today where we can talk about baptism and then affirm our own baptismal vows. This Sunday in the church year is a Sunday we call the baptism of our Lord. And we're reminded of Jesus' baptism and how God sent the Holy Spirit in, in, a, in the form of a dove upon Jesus and probably just as important, maybe more importantly, claimed him as God's son, with whom God was well pleased and with whom we are called to listen. And as we remember the baptism of Jesus and, and his being claimed as God's son as he now begins his ministry, we also remember our own baptism, how we too, as children of God, have been claimed by God as God's child. In our baptism, we're forgiven of our sin. In our baptism, we were sealed by the Holy Spirit, marked with the cross of Christ forever, which means we were set apart for God's purposes. We were set apart for work in God's kingdom throughout our lives. Baptism is a significant part of our life of faith. We're reminded that we are precious to God, that God redeems us from our sin and sets us free to be people of love and service each and every day of our lives. Baptism is not just a, a one-time thing. It's not just a ritual. It's not just putting water on someone's head or dunking someone in water for those traditions. It's really about re receiving the Spirit of God. It's about receiving the Spirit of Christ into our lives. It's about setting us on fire for our life in Christ. So as we celebrate the baptism of Jesus this Sunday, and as we now do this process of affirming our own baptismal vows, we're reminded that we have been claimed by God. We are God's. We have been sealed with the cross of Christ. We have been set apart for God's purposes in our lives. So in preparation for what we're about to do, um, one of the things you can do is get some kind of a, of a bowl of water of some nature and take a few moments and, and put some water in that bowl and have it available to you. You don't have to have a whole lot just enough that you can put your hand in, okay? And uh, if you need to pause and do that, um, go right ahead and, and when you're ready, you can just restart the video and we will get started with our affirmation of our baptismal vows. Okay, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I read to you from Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. As I read the next portion, feel free to, to put your hand in your waters and feel free to splash them around a little bit. It's a way of remembering the importance of baptism. We give you thanks, O oh God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By water and your word, you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life. And above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus Christ. Shower us with your spirit and renew our lives with your forgiveness, your grace, and your love. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. So in your baptism, you were claimed as God's own child, forgiven of your sin, and seal with the Holy Spirit, being set apart for God's purposes. I ask you, 
Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God and Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth? If so, answer, I do, and I ask God to help me. Now I would just ask that you dip a finger in the water and be ready to make the sign of the cross on your forehead. Almighty God, who gives us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgives us all of our sins, strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Baptism is a wonderful thing. As I was dashing those waters, I was reminded of the gift of water and how through these waters, God claims us and sets us on a journey. May you remember your baptism. May it be something that continues to bring significance in your life, something that you can continue to fall back on and go to, remembering you are a child of God, that God loves you, you are precious, God forgives you, and then God calls you to be God's servant in the world today. God's blessings to you.